Alright, so there's a new map today, back in the forest, which was a fun map. Back in the day I ran like Aswald Narnia. My Laharl I switched to having a Divine Shelter build to be 136 agility. It's only because of my low level. Normally this wouldn't, this still wouldn't even work. But because of his low level, he can be affected by Rahu at 130 agility. If your slot 1 moves on attack before your Rahu, they will not get overclocked, is what I learned last time. I don't know if they changed it since then, but we'll find out. So he's running basically a pure slash team. Worth noting on defense here, slot 3 actually spawns in the middle, slot 2 spawns off on the left. So the hope here really is that somehow Malahal just survives two nukes. Now that I'm thinking about it, that sounds dumb. Can he do that on this map? Let me take a look at the map. Moves one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, okay, so as far as I'm aware, slot three cannot hit him first turn even if he moves four. One, two, three, four. And then one, two, three, four. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, okay, there'll be one short each. Or actually, no, one of them will hit him. One, two. Yeah, one will hit him. Let's find out how right I am. I could be wrong. And also, slot one will spawn on the mountain. I have Ultima here to delay himself. He has the magic arrow on. To cast move plus two, I think he'll cast it onto Rahu. Which will do nothing because she won't move. Oh, oh my. That fucked me up. <laughs> I forgot I had four range. Also, interesting. Hmm. I think this still works out in my favor. What is his. Huh. What is his Vettel casting? I didn't even think about Vettel being able to cast. <laughs> well, he's quickened. Cast that on himself, then move up and nuke. Alright. That should be game, set, match. Oh, even with the guard? Yep. Bye. Well, yeah. I forgot April Breeze had four range. For some reason, I kept thinking it had three. 